Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Brockrip site. Today we got ourselves a movie review of The Happy Time Murders, directed by Brian Henson. Phil Phillips, an ex-puppet cop, gets caught up in a string of murders involving the cast of The Happy Time Gang, a show from the 90s going into syndication. He has to team up with his former partner, played by Melissa McCarthy, to figure out who is behind all these murders. I enjoyed this movie. Now, granted, the story is nothing new. It has basically everything you'd expect from a detective or murder mystery. You know, you've got the main protagonist who has a troubled past, you got the femme fatale, you got the main character being framed for the crime he didn't commit, but what makes this movie interesting is the puppet twist to it. This movie comes to us from Henson Alternative, a separate division of the Jim Henson Company that specializes in making more adult-geared puppet shows. They've had a couple different productions in the past, including a Broadway show and a television show, and this is their first feature film. It was just fun to see an R-rated puppet movie like this. You know, you got puppets swearing, doing drugs, which is basically just glorified sugar, drinking maple syrup like it's alcohol, having sex with some, uh, silly string jisms. It's in the trailer, so you probably know what I'm talking about. There's lots of puppet gore in there with limbs getting torn off and heads blowing up. They don't even try to exaggerate it with fake blood or guts or anything like that. It's just plain old stuffing, but the human characters treat it like it is. So like a human got massacred, so they're like, Oh god, that's disgusting. There's a puppet massacre everywhere. It's similar to movies like Sausage Party and Team America. Now, while granted, I don't think this movie is quite as clever and well-made as those two, it definitely falls in that category of taking a family-oriented concept and giving it an adults-only kind of uh, kind of tone to it, which I really like. I really enjoy movies like this. I wish we would get more of them. I want to see more raunchy animated movies like Sausage Party. Not not like all the time, but maybe every couple of years or so. I actually kind of liked Melissa McCarthy in this movie. She's somebody that I do like, but she's kind of hard to like in a lot of movies. She plays these really annoying you know, unlikable characters a lot of times, but I think here, I think she's a bit toned down from how she usually is, but she still also falls into her Melissa McCarthyisms, like being the bumbling character, getting comically injured, you know, th having these big tantrums in front of people when she gets in trouble, just being like, hey, you know what, you suck, you suck, you suck, you character from Bridesmaids, we should have had sexual intercourse, Bye bye loses. Elizabeth Banks is also in the movie, but she feels just a bit underused. You know, she's only in a few different scenes here and there, and she doesn't get a proper resolution to her character at the end of the movie, so that was a real shame because I just, I had a few questions about her character by the end of it, and we don't really get an answer to any of them. Oh, and Stanley from The Office is in this movie as well, playing the lieutenant. It was nice to see him again. It just makes me feel glad that everybody moved on to better things after Dunder Mifflin. So the whole movie is a big satire on LA. How everybody is fake, you know, with bleach skin and nose jobs and everything like that. It shows the dark side of Hollywood, you know, with drug addictions and fame just ultimately leading into a really downhill lifestyle. The puppets themselves get discriminated by just about everybody and they also hate the human characters, but that's... it's not really the main focus of the movie, you know, it's not like something that gets properly resolved by the end of it. This is not Zootopia after all. So it's really... it's a big part of the movie, it's just not the main focus, but it does play a part in the story of the movie. The movie is pretty well paced, except for a few moments in there where the characters just stop dead in their tracks to tell a bunch of jokes. That really got on my nerves and is definitely my biggest problem with the movie because whenever movies do that, it just slows everything down to a screeching halt. It's like, just keep it going, guys. You can tell your jokes and move the story forward at the same time. It's... It's possible now. It, 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 it's possible. Ultimately, I enjoyed this movie more than I thought I would. You know, the movie is not great by any means, and it's definitely not without its problems. You know, it's not particularly original, or, you know, it's not as clever as some other adult-oriented movies like this, but it was, it was just entertaining. It was a fine piece of hour-and-a-half entertainment. Besides, what's not like, what's not to like about puppets having intercourse and making pornos. 
Except when it gets a little excessive. So all in all, The Happy Time Murders was a fun, raunchy, R-rated puppet movie with very inappropriate puppet characters a la Avenue Q. It's got some good humor in there. I thought the characters were pretty fun. I'm not really sure if I'm clamoring for a sequel or to watch this movie again in a few months, but, uh, you know, it was fine for the time being. So, those are my thoughts on The Happy Time Murders. If you guys have seen the movie, let me know down below, and we'll see you on the Black Ops. Yeah.